question before I get from the floor. Meron nagtanong, they passed this on to me. This for uh, Mr. Gabby Lopez. Uh, with the increased use of the internet to deliver services, which used to be delivered by free-to-air broadcast, do you think that free-to-air broadcasting will be eventually phased out? Uh, I think uh, even in America, the free TV uh, uh, viewing continues to be uh, quite high. But there's a steady, steady decline uh, of free TV um, in terms of the ratings, no? but um, free TV has been around in America for, for many years. It's, uh, it's cable that has really uh, taken over uh, in terms of total uh, viewing no, as an industry. But uh, we, we don't anticipate that in the next 10 years that uh, television will dis disappear. Um, in the next 20 years, it's, it's hard to say. No? I think. As the price of the tablet goes down, um, the migration to mobile devices, I think, will accelerate. Okay, good to hear. Yeah, lang kanina, Mr. Lopez, your prediction of a technology where we can do online shopping by watching TV is a hurdle for husbands. <laughs> Reason for them to object to digital TV. <laughs> Uh, may tanong pa sa floor? Anybody would want to ask some questions? Hello. Okay. Uh, Attorney Kapugawan, do you have a question? I have a question. That's uh, do you belong to the digital cast of this? Hindi ako napaka-simple na ako taga-pareo. Ang aming radio ay nasa radio malayo tayo. Mindanao to Northern Luzon. Eh, meron kami mga broadcasters. So, one to three. But the two gentlemen just presented. And if they will just be kind enough to share with us their dissertation, maybe we can have those papers reproduced by KBP and can bring them to the provinces. I wonder if we can do that. Okay. Uh, the request is to. Uh... Yeah. Uh, do you want it in hard copy or soft copy? Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> Whether it is digitalized or not, as long as you have a copy. Okay, so, uh, pwede ipadala sa kanya. SMS! Papadala na na yung SMS! Pwede rin yung... Pwede rin yung... Pwede rin yung... Pwede rin yung kundi sa Facebook. Ah, okay. Let's see. Uh, there, there's another question uh, for uh, Mr. Gabby Lopez uh, again. Uh, Question is, ABS-CBN is a big network and has the resources to transform itself in the new digital world. Many broadcast operations in the provinces are still small scale. What strategy do you think they can adopt? So, I think among small networks who have limited resources and strategy Well, as I was discussing with uh, June this morning, I think as, as we create the digital infrastructure, um, you can you can write on, on the infrastructure that will be created by the big networks, uh, whether it's television or, or radio. So if, if we create the multi, multiplex network or digital television and, and, and for audio uh, broadcasting, so na lang kayo. You know, and I'm sure we can, we can work out uh, a mechanism with the KPP playing a key role in, in the process. So uh, KBP can have a role in all of this, integrate everybody or with one another. Uh, yes, uh, there's a question there. Arman. Hi, good morning. This is just a follow-up question about the uh, first question. Uh, but I'm fortunate to experience our transition from the analog from our internet TV to using TV. Tahilang connection, importing, point four, importing, and now we're enjoying the broadband. So in relation to that, uh, like we've seen the slideshow in the lifestyle or consumption on the online uh, media, uh, my question now is: Will there be a time that 
the traditional media become just a complementary to online media. For us right now, we're saying that we need to boost our presence in the internet or in the cloud, like everybody's uh, doing this cloud thing, so we have to complement our traditional media. But my fear is, uh, the scenario that will just be a complementary since a lot of uh, workforce are doing the computing on the road, uh, they play their own device at work, they continue with the consumption of media while at work. You can, like, you can see the problem in the office that they are consuming media, uh, continuing their experience watching those uh, uh, shows. So we don't get time that uh, we just be uh, complementary to online. I think that's for money. Yeah. Um, in my perspective, because when when you talk about let's say <coughs> traditional media or broadcast media, I think one one part of that is on the is on the medium. But I think why companies like ABS, CBN, or, or other companies are working is because they develop an audience. So the, 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 the thing there is, how do, you, how do you continue to engage the audience using new types of uh, media? And I think that's what, uh, that's what most companies, not only companies here in the Philippines are doing, but also in, in, in first world market, that they, they try to be relevant uh, wherever they are. One, one misconception about internet and digital is it's, it's a great enabler, but it actually you have to uh, understand also, it's, if you don't find your niche, if you don't find your audience, it can become very complicated because it's so huge. No? So, um, and, and I guess the other insight that I have is Currently, we're, we're, we're shifting to digital, but 67% of the market are still non-digital, right? So there's still, uh, Philippines right now is still, I would say, dependent on traditional media. And for you to educate them how to embrace digital media, you need, you need traditional media to, to help out on the transition. So a lot of players would try to compete on, on the online space, but I guess that bias there is you have to find your own niche because you have billions of 